The Natural Language Processing Pilot Project is part of the Digital Transformation Programme of Finance Operations Germany and Alps. Its objective is to achieve true end-to-end -end automation of a high volume process within customer service. Therefore, the Finance Operations Digital Hub is fundamental. It can provide the required human capabilities in a plug-and-play fashion. In this project, we made use of cognitive automation, which evolved from the combination of two services, robotic process automation and cognitive computing. Robotic process automation is software that allows rapid system integration through the user interface. It simulates rule-based human interactions across systems. A robot works at a speed that outperforms any human being and for up to 24 hours, as long as your business processes allow. As only a license fee applies, it operates at a fraction of the cost of a regular human employee. Cognitive computing simulates human capabilities to understand unstructured data. It becomes able to see by recognising and interpreting patterns within images. Using sophisticated linguistic techniques, it can understand natural language, which may contain complex semantics. Based on feedback from interactions, the underlying algorithms learn and continuously improve themselves. We are thrilled to show you an example of cognitive automation in customer query handling. This process is separated into two parts. First, the front line, which receives new emails, reads them to classify the referring reason code and extracts the customer data to perform case logging within the dispute management system. The case is then transferred to the back line, which performs all the necessary tasks in the various systems to resolve the query, closes the case in the dispute management system and sends an automated reply to the customer. But let's dive right into it. Everything starts with a new email. Here, a customer called Manfred Musterman asks DHL to add an email address to the customer e-billing master data. He also includes a customer number for identification. As the email is received, it is instantly imported into the cognitive computing engine, which understands the customer's intentions before extracting the required metadata, removing this human task. These intentions are referred to as templates. Out of the box, the knowledge base includes more than 170 templates covering all relevant intentions in a customer service environment. If a specific combination of templates occurs, the engine detects a so-called topic, which equals a reason code. In our example, reason code CM02 has been detected. Now the former unstructured data is structured and can be retrieved through a RESTful API as a JSON file. The frontline robot consumes this web service and fills the structured data into the SAP dispute management system. After the query is logged successfully, the backline robot can start its work. The backline robot prepares the required data and initialises all systems, the so-called housekeeping. It then verifies the account belongs to the customer and his email address needs to be changed. The requested change of email address is entered into our workflow tool, further validated and sent to the master data team for execution. Finally, the query is closed within SAP. The customer is informed via automated email that his request has been processed and that his master data will be updated. This new technology allows us to resolve customer queries within minutes rather than days and at a fraction of the cost of a similar service level carried out by humans. This improves the query turnaround time and the first time resolution tremendously, supporting previous customer feedback asking for a quicker process. But this is still the beginning of our digital journey. We continuously assess innovative technologies to compose new services or further enhance the existing. On the other side, we scale existing technologies wherever valuable. To allow a simple exchanging of components, we utilise open standards for our APIs and add the digital services platform as an abstraction layer, eliminating dependencies. The digital services platform provides us with a registry to design, develop and monitor our APIs. A developer's portal to make them visible to our automation designers in a catalogue where they can try them out and provision. And a gateway 
which routes the traffic, logs it for monetization, and enforces security standards. Welcome to a new era of digital finance operations powered by cognitive automation.